Good morning. So, uh, Snippet Bixi next. Um, we got to the point where, if I remember correctly, I can show the GUI, um, pick a snippet, and it gets pasted into, sorry, gets copied into the clipboard. Um, but will not get pasted from there automatically. So that's what's next. Um, so I don't think I've got... Uh, I got I'm going to do is what have we got here paste snippet oh yeah <laughs> got one to do here paste okay so that's what we're going to do today so um, let's um, give this a test so that we know where we are um, let's think I need Uh, let's just bring up here. Just doing well as dev. I keep forgetting I'm still using beta 36 of Wells, even though I've made beta 37 available. I need to pick that up. Um, okay, so let's get rid of that terminal there. Um, and I'm just going to make sure I'm in here. And come back here right so let's assume that i've just opened this up automatically with a keystroke um, and then i hit um let's see if i search for like dt and i go okay i want number four which is just a long form date if i now paste yeah, it's in there. That's good. And that's quit um, the whales. Uh, snippet pixie GUI. What I really want is for that paste, that to happen automatically. Um, as soon as it quits. So that you can pop up the GUI, pick what you want, select it, and it gets pasted into the window behind. all its expansions and so on and that's why we've got this little um, go function here so we're going to basically spin it off um, let the GUI close and then we have a little delay um, before it does the paste giving the GUI time to get out of the way so we need to find a way of doing the paste so previously in the old version of snippet bixi we used x test or the x test library so presumably there might be something in going and <laughs> didn't mean it like that uh, x test as unit tests it's the client API FX test extension it's only had four usages and it's a zero and it's well over a year old that's only got the one import Okay. There seems to be lots of people copying the same one, but it's not really getting a lot of use otherwise. What have we got? Compare cursor cookie, no, compare, no, fake input cookie, don't care about that, so fake input, fake input checked, okay, input 
init must be cool before using it. So I've got to pass in a XGB connection. What's that about? Hmm. Oh dear. Well, I guess that's what you need, just that little bit here. Connect to it. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Let's go see what this is about. Okay, so that's forked from Bant Sushi. Okay. All right, so that's the fork that is recommended. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm wondering whether I need to do this or not. Let's check out. Uh, oh. Let's go and see what we've got to do to use it. Some examples. So examples in here. Oh, it's been a while. What? Why is X? Oh. Because it's under there. I'm going to have to supply a whole bunch of stuff. Mm. That's going to be a lot of mucking about to use that. It's too low level for me. We well, don't want to get that low level. Um...
I wonder if I can cheat. Let's um, let's have a quick look at. Okay, how do I do? How do I do shell stuff? It's gonna be a note. Uh, what about is there an exec? Exec. Can I? All right, so there's a wait. Do I need to do that? I wonder if. All right, okay, so I don't really care about that. Well, that is a command, All right? So I need to create a command and then execute it as such. I could just do that. Okay. Is there a way to do one without waiting? Because I don't really care about the waiting. Start. If I don't wait for it, does it garbage collect too quickly? Maybe I should just do the run. Okay, let's just try that. So what I'm thinking of doing is, I haven't really explained, um, instead of using low level libraries and trying to connect to the X window session, especially as I might need to switch to using, well, I mean, there's things like, using Wayland instead of X server and all that kind of stuff. I wonder if I could get away with using, um, there's a utility called X do tool. Um, and I wonder if I could use that. Let's just kill that off for a second. And I think it should be installed. Let's have a look. X do tool. Yep. Okay, so what this allows you to do is basically type commands. So I might be able to do a simple like control V. So it can take a keystroke. I can target a window, but I don't need that. I could clear the modifiers as well. I uh, don't think I need that because in fact I want to keep the modifiers so if you like 
hold shift while you're selecting a snippet, I want it to do a shift control V purely because you're saying I'm in the terminal and I want to paste into that. And delay. Oh, that's between the keys checks. I don't care about that as long as it works. So I should be able to do something as simple as control control V and it'll take whatever I've just stuck in the paste board. Um, let's try that. So at the moment I have got some hidden shift control V. Oh, okay, because I did that. Uh, <laughs> let's, um, let's do a quick test. So what I'll do is I'll just bring up well, dev again. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Let's get rid of that, and we'll just bring. Okay, that should bring up stuff now. Ah, that's a bug. I still haven't forgot about that. Okay. I need to sort that out. All right, so um, let me just okay. All right, so we're now in this terminal here. Now I should. Right, so I'm just going to select something. I'm just going to select, uh, well, this is a quite a big one. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, it's going to output a load of junk. So I'll select that one. Now, if I do a shift control V, I'm going to get a whole bunch of rubbish into the terminal. There we go. All the times and stuff. Um, lots of date calculations that I used there. Um, so, yep, it's not going to be happy with that. Okay. Now, if I do x do tool ctr l plus v, and then I'm going to hit return. I don't know if it's going to work while I'm uh, hitting shift on here as well, but we'll see. Oh, key. Yep. Okay. Kind of worked. Could have damaged my machine by doing that. <laughs> but did something diff daft. All right. Just be careful there. Okay. Um, all right. Let's try it. Let's try something here then. So uh, we have exec command right let's just do something really raw here so we'll do exec command i've got to stick in something first And we'll do next to till key. Um, and I'm just going to hard code this at the moment, but I will have to make this configurable. 
It's not something I've actually done on the existing Snippy Pixie, but I want to do because some people, I presume, um, in some parts of the world, they don't have Control V as their um, paste. So I don't know, but I presume so. Um, so they've got that, and then in theory, I can do Command. Run. And I should catch an error. Here's an error, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't actually care about the error. In theory only if I can't do anything with the clipboard. I don't care from then on. So let's um, Let's just log it if it's an issue. Yeah. We'll just log um Basically the same as them. Yeah. I'll just do this instead. X do tool. Um call out. With, I'll just do that. Put the flag in there. And then we'll just do the Whatever that comes back with. And I might test that in a minute just to make sure it does fail out. Okay. Let's try that. So, um, up here, kill the daemon. Make and start. And then I think I'll do it over here just in case. And then we'll do another Wales dev. Close that off. And just do a DT. Number two. Ha oh, ha ha. Okay. And that worked. So that is a dependency. But seeing as I've now switched to having a setup where you need a daemon. And then a client, so either a CLI or GUI. Um, sticking in a dependency for a tool that we use is not an issue because it's always going to have to be packaged up really to be useful. Um, unless you don't want parts of it. If you're only wanting the daemon and then you have your own GUI or whatever, that's fine. So. You just need to know that when you do that, you need to have x do to x do tool. <laughs> yeah, I think for the moment that's a really workable solution. It's a bit of a cheat, but. 
I really didn't like some of the ways that I was going to have to do the library stuff. And it was messy when I did it the first time in uh, Vala, even. So yeah, I think I'll do that. So let's um, let's just double down on this and make sure it's okay. So um, let's just check what happens if I do. So we'll have that. Let's um, make that again. And then here. Build the thing. And then we're going to have to start working on making sure that the GUI has the separate startup routines as well. So in here, let's do something else. Let's do number six, always developing. And then it's going to break. So we should get an output. So it didn't work. OK, we did. X do tool call failed exec wibble do tool executable file not found path perfect that's what I want to see in the daemon so that's good debug info there great okay so we will want to do that because that was a good test um Make that again. In fact, let's um, let's go down here. Must update Wales as well. Do that after this, I think. Just do a big test as well while I'm here. That's good. Okay. So, um, should be able to oh that's fine that's not going to do any making and then in here go back to the GUI and I do build bin snippet pixie it's an actual compiled version now um let's stick that on workspace three um pretend we've just opened it up and we pick number six again there we go that's good because that's a bit like so what i've found is that on the existing snippet because pixie um something's going on with using libraries and everything um, and occasionally I get this real delay sometimes just a failure with the usage of the, of the built-in library stuff so if I actually do the same thing here um, number two there ADEP yeah something weird is going on that was a real delay um, whereas it should be pretty much automatic and almost instant in that, in that scenario because it knows it's gone away and then it does the paste um, whereas in the new one I'm having to say okay um, I'm going away do the paste 
in a little bit. Um, and that was quicker than doing it with a, okay, I've gone, now paste, which I can do with the other one. Um, so yeah, so it's actually going to, at the moment, it's going to be better doing it with X, do two on stuff. So that's good. Um, I should probably commit that. Um, and then have a quick look at fixing up Wales, make sure it's the latest version. Don't think there was anything else there? No. So yeah. Keep that for a moment. I'll just have to remember to put um well actually I could do that while I'm here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of interim read me at the moment. Maybe I don't need to do it just yet. When I refix that, I'll talk about the dependencies. It's going to be a little bit, yeah. Okay. Right, now, before I go any further, I want to quickly update uh, my version of Wales. So, um, I am doing this because I'm doing this through Shell, um, a next Shell. Um, I have, presumably, let's check, see what version I've got here. Oh, okay. Let's see if, um, I don't know if it's hit master yet. I think I might have. Uh, well, I don't know if it's hit master in my fork of Nix packages because it was just merged the other day. And I'm not sure if this is fully up to date. Uh, let me check. Um, so packages, development, tools, wells, tools. Nope. Okay, let me merge up. Okay, me and him, Jones, next packages. Okay, so it must be in this last 253. Let's check. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just steal the uh, the shards from here. Oh, I don't need the there. It's the whales overlay. So that. Uh, 
that should be seven. And I think that's the same. Yep. Next DTG over here. And we rid of it. That's fine. So I think we're good there. <clears throat> so my little overlay here should be fine. I don't need that open. In fact, I can close off a lot of this stuff. Let's close it all off for the moment and then we'll open it up again when we need it. Okay. Should do a rebuild now of them. Um, that was quick. Yeah. I know why. Because I'm not using it at the moment. I'm using the uh, standard package. Now I do know... Hmm, I could just wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Has it hit? Has it gone through yet? No, it hasn't actually got into, uh, hasn't been packaged up, like gone through all the testing and stuff yet. It's, I know it's merged, but it's not not here yet. So yeah, I can just put, in it, put it in here. Let's do that. Uh, so we'll just use my overlay for the moment. So I'm in preparation. Hopefully that works doing it that way. Let's see. Okay. What's the red stuff? Oh, let's just take it off. That's fine. I probably not need this uh, overlay for long because um, it'll be like probably today or tomorrow that will hit unstable for sure, but for reals rather. But you know, I'll have it sorted now. a bunch of stuff. Well, there's quite a big project, really. Okay, on. Should I go do something else while I wait? I'm surprised it's taken so long. It doesn't normally take quite so long. Maybe my internet is slow. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now if I do Wales version, here we are, 37. 
So we will need to update the uh, wells, the GUI one. Hold on, let's make sure we're in the right place. So we want Wales version 37. I think that'll do its thing in a minute. Let's give it a go. So we'll do make clean all and make all. What happened there? This thing goes, oh, okay. Interesting. That might be uh, an artifact of me. I've been mucked about a bit with the build order so that I could uh, do the build without using a Wells div first. Hmm, I have to look into that. Okay. So if I go up here, let's put it in, that's fine, uh, I'm just going to quit that, and then um, okay, so it's updated the sum now. That's fine. Okay. That should be good. I suppose I should make sure that worked. Let's do it again. So now that the sum's done, we'll do a make clean all, and a make test. Good point. Right, so I should be able to then go back in here. Uh, right, so let's get the GUI, uh, get the daemon back up. And then I should be able to run the local version, the build. Yeah, that's cool. Good. And then uh, let's just muck about. Let's try um, if I hit shift and hit return, does it work? Does it do anything? It does. Oh. Excellent. That's good. Smart. Okay. All right. Commit that off. Ooh. 
Oops. Right, so that I can get shot off. That's fine. So we're kind of at a... I guess we're at a reasonable place there, whereby I now have the paste working. I've upgraded. Um, the next thing to do is to sort out the GUI for reels. So we've got um, let me just make sure that's in the right place. It's in the right version. Um, we've got, at the moment, we've kind of got um, the search and paste window, effectively. And why did that not work? Did I get it off? Oh. Interesting. Oh, I, I got a bug. Invalid memory address. Okay. All right, well, I've got a bug to fix. I'll look at that in a sec. But, um, interesting. Paste on, I don't know, 276. Okay, well, I've got a bug to look at in a sec. Um, but what I was going to say, <laughs> um, is um, we have the search and paste window effectively at the moment. Um, what we need to do is have a version of this where you can manage the snippets as well. Um, so we can start it up in two different modes, I think. Um, the alternative is that we just allow it to be the same thing. And if you hit return, um you use it um otherwise you can maybe go left no right uh to edit you know, maybe put like a little icon at the end or something and then of course we need sort of a, an add and preferences buttons somewhere probably up here i think i want to leave the bottom clean like that so i might have an add and preferences kind of buttons here before the search box don't want it after because you want the tab to go straight into the list so i think that's what's going to be next um that's kind of my plan at the moment we'll see how it goes and if that doesn't work out then i'll have it as two separate views and i could just like turn on the controls um, and keep this nice and clean um, and maybe potentially have two different modes of opening the window as well, one without any Chrome. Because although I'm in, you can't see any Chrome at the moment, in a normal desktop environment, you would have like a header bar and all kinds of things going on here. It just so happens that in my desktop manager, which isn't a desktop manager, it's a window manager, i3, I've got all that turned off, but I could, um, I think it's like, is that yeah, so that's the header bar on here. Um, I don't use that, so. Um, right, let's look at that bug. So, uh, let's refresh, what was that? It's a 276. Hmm. 
Hmm. And that was in the daemon. D bus. Ah. Because there was no error. That's why. So who? If it's not equal to nil, then do the thing. Okay. Yeah, that's because I was too busy just like testing that. Okay, let's try that again. Um, and then here, let's just do a quick make, nothing to do. So build bin snippet picks a GUI. Pick something, let's pick um, ADEP again. That didn't work. What happened? Oh, there's a bug. Interesting. Hmm, so we found another one there. If I run this and I go down and I hit shift return, it works. If I just say, okay, I want number six and I want it to shift paste. It does not work. Presumably because it's in a, in my case, um, a carrot. Hmm. Do I care about that? I think that might be a thing where I have to say it's a limitation because I really don't want to start mapping. I don't think I can. Yeah, because I get a string. Otherwise I'm looking at key codes and stuff which could work in that case because ASCII, the ASCII numbers effectively are constants there. Hmm, okay. Let me have a quick look at the code there. Let's have a quick look. Um, we are in, we want snippets list. There we are, look already. Yeah, that's not going to work. See, that doesn't even understand that. Din, 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 din. Okay, I think I'm going to say that's okay, because I don't think that even works at the moment. <laughs> I don't think that'll work on Snippet Pixie. Um, the current version. If I bring up... Yeah. So I tab in and I hit um, number eight. So shift and eight. Is it going to work? No. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Okay. Shift and eight. Yeah, no. Oh, it puts it. That's weird, actually. Yeah, so that doesn't work. But if I hit, if I go down to it, and I hit shift and return. Yeah, see, that works. 
Okay. All right. That's, at least it's not a regression. In fact, it's kind of working better in the new version. Okay. Fine. We'll leave it. I think I'll, I can live with that. Okay. I'm just going to commit this. Says um, fix um, Damon Tryon. Two. Isn't one. Okay. Right, I think I'm kind of at a good position there to stop. Uh, we've got a work in paste. And then the next thing is on the next session, we need to start mucking about with uh, getting the window working a little bit better for editing and adding and and then eventually we're going to create a preference window as well so yeah i think we're good there so uh thanks for watching um and until next time take care bye